the scene of a dramatic rescue call that took place on Tuesday afternoon around 12.30 p.m. Emergency crews were called to trestle number one at Myra Canyon after a man fell down that rock face. Kona Fire Department had control of the scene at first, so they went down and assessed the patient. Uh, the patient was deceased. Um, we were there to assist in removing him from the area. When we got here, there was somebody over the bank. Um, there were two people down attending to him. Um, at that time, there was a call put in from the people on scene down at the patient to the hospital, and they made the decision to stop uh, CPR. At that time, we had their people, or one of our people, go down make contact with them, secure the patient, and then uh, had the civilians leave the area while we rigged up to recover the person. Both crews attribute COVID-19 as a big factor to their increased calls, as many more people are out exploring their boundaries, but being ready for the elements is key. My only suggestion was to be more prepared when you go out there, more prepared than you think you should be, be better. Uh, once you're out there, you can't ask for another set of clothes or more water or a snack, so prepare before you go, please. While the invention of e-bikes have given some people freedom, it's been a reason for an increase in calls. A lot more seniors are out riding these trails, like just like the two that were past us. Right. right, they're probably 75, 80 years old, and they're on e-bikes. So it, it helps them, but they're all here enjoying the weather, that's great. She falls, he falls, now we have a broken ankle, or a broken leg, or a broken arm, and we've had several calls like that actually with elderly people this year. COSAR had a busy day on Tuesday as they were called to two separate rescues within the hour. It's a little bit exhausting for us because that's a call a week, and we're all volunteers, so we're not paid for this. So we have to leave our jobs, we have to leave our families and homes and dinners, and and come and rush out to do what we can do. Unfortunately, calls like this are up. Kosar says they're on pace for a record year, with hunting and ski season still on the horizon. Sarita Patel, Casanet News, Kelowna.